Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Warren. I'm bringing you a printing project today that I think you're gonna like. And it, um, it just uses things that you're gonna be able to find in your own home. Pencil, um, a pencil with a smoothed or rounded point or a ballpoint pen, you can use either one. Um, discarded foam trays that meat or produce comes in, just make sure that they are washed really well in hot soapy water. You may need an adult to help you with that, but um, make sure that they're clean. You'll use any markers you have that are water-based, uh, you know, Crayola, um, Crayola Prang and some other makers, as long as it's not a um, Sharpie marker. You want to use a water-based marker. We're also going to use any kind of white paper that you have at home. The heavier the better, but if um, you don't all have white drawing paper at home, so you can try different things and see how you like it. So today we're basically, we're going to create prints from our styrofoam tray and our markers, and they're pretty easy to do. My tray looks like this. I use this size, and all I did with my ballpoint pen was I incised the line, meaning I took this and I went all the way across. And I'll show you how I did that. Just go deep. You can see that line there, and then you'll do it all the way around your tray and this basically will snap right off. And you don't even need to use a pair of scissors. The line comes pretty clean. You can use these, um, keep these later because you can do little prints um, with these pieces as well. So basically what I did was I removed all the edges from my piece. And then I used um, a, pence, a pen and I drew my design. I chose flowers. This week on April 22nd, it is Earth Day, so you can do any design you want. You can do flowers, trees, birds, you can do insects, they would be really cool. Just know that whatever you're going to incise or draw onto this, it's there. You can't come back into the foam and erase it. And if you choose to do a word, spell it backwards on here, because once you print it, it will come out backwards. If you do it right, like if you wrote your name, like say your name is Tom, T-O-M, it's going to come out M-O-T backwards. So make sure you're thinking about that. So basically what we do is with our styrofoam plate here, we take our magic markers and you're going to work pretty quickly. You're going to color in all the flowers. You'll notice I did my flowers some um, different colors. And don't worry about it looking 100% um, if you're out of the line a little bit. It's okay, because you can do these again. That's a great thing. These are um, washable, and you can do this picture as many times as you want with different colors. So basically what you're going to do, and I'm going to do an abbreviated version. Oh, one thing I forgot. You also need um, some water and either a sponge. Um, like a clean sponge or in this case I have um, paper towel that is wet because once we get to this part of printing you'll want to make sure you have something clean to um, moisturize the paper like moisten the paper with you don't want it soaking wet it shouldn't be dripping water it should just be wet so using my colors I'm just gonna go into this supply here I am going to let's see if I can do this with you. I'm going to marker the plate and I'm going to do in all the flower stems. Don't do that, that's not good for your teeth, sorry. Doing that for expediency of time. So I'm just marking up my plate with all the colors. Doing all the stems green. I can come back into them and add some colors if I like. I'll do this flower over here purple. Don't forget to put um, color on the inside of your flower. in the middle of that one. 
it's hard to see. I know it's really sunny today outside, so it's hard to see what I am doing, so I apologize for that. I'm going to do this color orange right over here on this flower. I will also write this out for you and you'll find it in um, you'll find it in the classroom assignment so you'll have a video you can watch me do this and then you'll be able to read all the directions as well but I think it always helps with a new project for you to see so you can see I am markering up all the flowers um, I'm going to do all the stems of the leaves And if you're at a loss for what to draw, you can go outside and look around your yard and maybe get some ideas. So I've markered up the flowers and everything there. I may go back into some of them and maybe add a little purple there just to highlight it a little bit, just to add a little color. And then in my sky, I'm going to do blue on the top. And I'm just going to fill in the entire background here. I want the whole background filled in with color. I'm going to come down about halfway on this blue because I'm going to do a two-tone background, meaning two tones, one on the top, one on the bottom. And don't worry if you get colors. Don't worry if the blue gets on your flowers. It's, it's really not a big deal. I just did it accidentally. I would just like you to have fun and to try this. It's something a little bit different. We do have nice foam squares on order for next year, but since we're since it's not next year and we're here, we are using what we have. So I did blue on the top and now I'm going to come along. I have a kind of a cool aqua color and I'm going to use that on the bottom. And I'm just going to, like I said, color it all in. get it on your hands it's okay because it is water soluble meaning your hands are washable this will come out with soap and water for those of you who are perfectionists and um, you all know who you are um, you might want to even do your uh, design on a piece of paper so you know it's exactly what you want and then you can trace it over onto here so I have my flowers my stems are all colored in my my top, my bottom. I can add if I want, you know, a little bit of color over that if I want. You can add to your background. I added just a little bit of a zing there. So now I have my plate is all colored, all right? The next step is I'm trying to show this as best as I can. Here's my paper. What I want to do, my paper towel is going in here. I've taken out most of the water. Okay, when I hold it up, it's not dripping wet. All right, it's not dripping wet. And I'm gonna take this on my paper and I'm going to smooth it all over the paper in the center where my um, plate is going to go. My paper's nice and wet. I can put my um, paper towel down. Then I can do it, I can do this two ways. I can take the plate with the ink side and put it down, or the plate down and the paper on top of it. And that's what I'm going to do in this. Here's my plate. It's kind of hard to see, I'm really sorry. Hopefully you can see this. My plate is down and I'm going to put the wet paper on top of it 
and with my hands, I'm just going to gently rub around the entire plate, transferring that color onto my paper. And you can start to see maybe it coming through a little bit. Lift. And here we go. It comes right out. So you can see I really thought I was using two different blues but they came out one was kind of a greeny blue and one was a navy blue they kind of came out the same so it's a little bit different than my other one and that's okay because maybe maybe I'll do it again in a different color can you see both of those they're a little different a little the same but that's basically what we're doing today. I kind of like it. Then with these little pieces that you have left over, you can take these and with scissors, you can cut shapes and then you can um, color those shapes and then you can print those shapes around this if you like. Personally, I love the little bit of the jagged edge showing. I think it gives a real um, beautiful quality that's imperfect, but I, I like that. I don't like everything has to be perfect. I don't like that because uh, because nature isn't perfect. We're not perfect and it's okay if things don't look 100% like they came from a store. They look like they came from you. And you know that I always tell you how proud I am of you, of your work, and I know that you can do this. Okay, so give it a try. What I'll do with this next is I'm going to take this and I can wash it and then I can repeat my print one more time if I want to do that. So remember, when you're using your pen or your pencil, your pencil shouldn't be um, real sharp. This isn't too sharp. We can't find pencil sharpeners in our house and nothing really ever is real sharp. So we take this and we're just going to draw into the foam. It'll, You'll be able to close your eyes you should feel all those lines you should be able to feel it if you can't feel it you didn't go deep enough okay why do you have to do that because you want these lines to show that is your outline of your object okay I would love to see what you create after you do these you have till Friday big kids I'd like to see more of you uh, and more of your work so let's give this a try if you have any questions um, the lesson plan is going to be up in Google Classroom. You um, you can watch uh, this video again if you want to see how I did it. Um, but the step-by-step -step will be in there and how to do it. You can do them as large as you want or as small as you want. You can take this piece and you can cut it in half and do something smaller if you prefer that. There are artworks that are like little miniature, okay? And you can even make a frame for it. I hope all the artwork that you're creating, that you're hanging in in your house, I think it's really nice um, to have, you know, to have artwork hanging in your house. I have my kids' artwork hanging all over the place, and it, it, um, it's nice for me to see it from when they made it, and it's nice for them to see it too. So it's kind of a cool thing. Um, and I think that's it for this week. So Earth Day is April 22nd, coming up this week. So you have any subject matter outside that you want to do. You don't have to just do flowers. Bugs are fine, all that kind of stuff. But I think this week we're not going to do anime on this. Um, we're just going to do something nature. All right? I hope everybody's doing well, and I hope you um, enjoy doing this project. You have till Friday to hand it in, like I said, for big kids, all right? Um, and little kids um, can do this too, this same video you're going to see. So give it a try. I hope you enjoy it, and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.